dar Allah ya basi iko bisa amana da ya doyar musu wajen kyautata rayuwar al'umma da ci gaban kasar mu baki daya Allah ya nufi su da samun nasara da gamawa lafiya muna masu nasiha da dukkan al'umma da da mu zama masu tsoron Allah muna horar da ku jama'a mu sawo junan mu mu girmama na gaba da mu mu tausayawa na bayan mu mu kare kiyayewa da dukkan dokokin ubangiji da shari'o'insa da dokokin hukuma kuma mu ta addu'a Allah ya bawo kasar mu lafiya da wadata kamar yadda magabatan mu suka yi ta jaddadawa mu zama masu bin ta farki da shugaban halitta annab muhammadu sallallahu alaihi wa sallam ya daura mu a kai in haka ne kawai zai zama magani irin ibtilai da annoba kala kala da muke fuskanta Allah yayi alkawari ba zai canza wa al'umma halin da ta saka kanta a ciki ba har sai ita al'umar ta yinkura da canza wa kanta bangiji ya kawo mana sauki da yayi mana fitintunu da suka buwaye mu dan tsarki da kadaitar mulkin sa wannan karar jadda da kira ga al'umar mu da su zama masu tsoron Allah masu kiyaye dokokin addinin mu masu kyautata zumunci masu taimakawa rauna na da girmama shugabanni da biyayya ga dokokin kasa a ci gaba da yawa shugabannin kasa addu'ar samun lafiya zaman lafiya da wanzuwar alsu da mu dan wannan dama mu tabbatar wa da al'umar jihar Kano da yaddar Allah za su same mu masu jajircewa wajen kulawa da dukkan al'amuran su musamman wajen kiyaye dukiyar su da lafiyar su da mutuncin su za mu zama masu dauriya wajen sauraron su a dukkan lokutan da suka zo da bukata tare da hakuri da tausayawa za mu zama masu hazaka wajen wuce musu gaba wajen kula da hakkin su har sai inda karfin mu ya kare Allah ya shige mana gaba ya zama gatan mu baki da ga wadanda ubangiji ya mika wa ragamar shugabanci kuma muna tunatar wa junan mu na alƙawari da Allah ya yi cewar zai bi bahasun yadda muka tafiyar da al'amuran wadanda ya dora mana amanar su a gobe kiyama ya Allah ya ba mu ikon kwatanta adalci kama walafiya da saduwa da shi cikin biyayyar sa da muka yi abin da ba za mu iya ba Allah ya iya bana muna umarta dukkan hakimai da daga tai da masu ungwanni su zama wakilan mu bisa amana su kiyaye da tarbiyar ƴaƴan mu su jajirce wajen tabbatar da ba a wasa da harkar ilimi na islamiya da na zamani su tabbatar da cikakkiyar kulawa wajen kula da lafiyar al'umma da bin dokokin masana akan kiwon lafiya kuma su saka ido wajen harkar tsaro wajen kulawa da dukkan bakuwar fuska da sanarwa jami'an tsaro dukkan abinda ba su samu natsuwa da shi ba na daukan madaki mataki da ya dace daga karshe muna kira ga dukkan al'umma na Najeriya baki daya da mu so junan mu 
Mkiamati kieya na gaba na rasin chitwa na kuma nuna bambansi kabilansi adini ko angaransi. Mana nasihar zaman si sakana junam na aduar Allah ya nuka asar mata samu ili chiga bande da chita mu tahanyar ikan tachiyar siyasa apakar tatanam arziki so mantekewa bisa amana da kawanar juna ya da Nigeria da ta zama sunsiya matawri nkina ya muna godia maris ariwa ka dukkan wana nda ubangi di yali pesu da halatar wana ntaru ya da haka zwa laifia ala ya mer da dukkan baki jina jamu laifia muna godia dukkan kwa mnoni watanda sike akai da watanda sike gama da dukkan saurang sarakuna da shuwa gabani na bangarori da bandaba da wakila nkasa she da bandaba da daya daga cikin iyayenmu abin alfaharinmu alhaji aminu alhasan dan tata Allah ya inganta mana lafiyar sa mu ci gaba da moriya da karayuwar sa Allah ya kare mutuncin mu da addinin mu Allah ya ba mu lafiya da zaman lafiya Allah ya ba mu damina mai albarka malamu da iyayenmu da shugabanninmu da suka koma ga ubangiji Allah ya jaddada musu rahama Allah ya ci gaba da ba mu albarkacin su idan wa adun mu yayi Allah ya samu cika da iman Kama yedda ne magana da turanci zan yi takaice da Hausa idan ma an yadda zan yi da mutunci to jama'a assalamu alaikum da farko ina godewa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala da ya kawo wannan lokaci a wannan yanayi na ba da sandan girma ga sarkin Kano Alhaji Aminu Adobayaro muna gode wa shuban kasa Muhammad Buhari da ya turo mataimakin sa professor Yemi Hussein Bajo domin ya halacci wannan bamban taro ma mu shakka sarakunan Nigeria sun taimaka mana kore da gaske sun yi mana halacci da halattar wannan babban miki mai tarihi musamman mai alfarma sultan da sokoto da kuma sauran manyan manyan sarakuna na najeriya kamar da ka sani biki hadaddai irin wannan biki mai tarihi irin wannan lokaci na karshe da aka ga irin wannan biki shi ne lokacin da aka nada marigayin sarkin Kano a do bayaro a wannan wuri ba mu shakka bukukuwan nan da ake yi da dadin sarautan nan da aka yi da ba da wannan sandan girma ya karbu ga al'umar jihar Kano shi yasa duk inda ka leka a cikin wannan jiha kamu ko ina yau biki ake yi saboda ba da wannan sanda wannan ya nuna cewa wannan sarauta ta karbu dari bisa dari ga al'umar jihar Kano ga malamai na jihar Kano ga matasa na jihar Kano ga mata na jihar Kano ga attajirai na jihar Kano har ma da yan uwansa jinin sarauta na jihar Kano Allah ya taya shirko amin baba babu shakka 
Mai martaba sarkin Kano wanda ya rasu Alhaji Ado Bayaro ya yi mulki na fiye da shekara 50 kuma wannan mulki nasa an samu ci gaba kware da gaske a jihar Kano an samu zaman lafiya a jihar Kano ya yi mulki da gwamnoni na sojoji ya zo ya yi mulki da gwamnoni na farahula ya sake yin mulki da gwamnoni na sojoji sannan kuma daga 1999 ya ci gaba da mulki da gwamnoni na farahula ba a taba samu rigima a tsakanin masarauta da gwamnonin jihar Kano ba babu shakka samu cike wannan gurbi sai an ci sa amma an ci sa ga ɗayan sa ga ɗan sa ya cike wannan gurbi tun daga hawan sa yace sai ya tabbatar da dangantaka mai kyau wacce maifin sa ya bari tsakanin masarautar Kano da sauran masarautu na wannan ƙasa kamu a sakamakon haka ya kudur niyya ya ziyarci yawancin sarakunan ƙasar nan ya kai musu girman su har masarautar su shi yasa suka ce su ma sai sun rama shi yasa muka sami dukan nan su a wannan jiya kamu saboda haka mai martaba sarki muna farin ciki da yadda ka kama wannan sarauta musamman ana taimakawa gwamnati akan fannonin ci gaba da wannan jiya tamu daban-daban muna farin ciki da kai muna alfahari da kai muna yaba maka ko muna yaba al'umar jihar Kano muna roƙon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yayi maka jagora ya taya ka nufin wannan sarauta ta jihar Kano kuma Allah ya yi mana jagora ga baki daya jama'a assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh who ages and he is still uh, not tired of offering this uh, remarkable service to this country he served as uh, this country's minister of external affairs in 1984 to 85 was director institute of international affairs in lagos was nigeria's ambassador to the united nations serving under five heads of state as representative of the united nations was under secretary united nations having worked with a number of uh, secretaries general his uh, resume is too long for me to recount and uh, it is my honor and privilege to call upon him to please come and bless this occasion with you remarks professor kambarisa Congratulations to you for your accession to the throne of your forefathers as the 15th M. Fulani Emi Okano from the Sulu Bawa clan culminating in the well-deserved installation that has just taken place here on this Saturday, the 3rd of July, 2021. Your coronation and turban is a providential it's providential because it is happening at the time in the history of our country when the prevailing social and political conditions resonate with the ascension to the throne of my friend, the late father, His Highness the Emi Okano Alaji Adobaya. May he so rest in peace. I remember with nostalgia the passion and commitment he always exhibited in the pursuit of any cause in which he believed. A distinguished character that almost cost him his life prematurely on January the 19th, 2020, because of his vociferous stand against the Boko Haram terrorists. I'm confident that you would exhibit such leadership qualities and much more as you have demonstrated in a few months of your emirship. As I continue to pray 
for your success and look forward to your contribution to uplifting the people of Kano Emery in particular and the nation in general. I wish to assure you of my support for you to leave a sustainable legacy. Alaja Samani Sarkin Wasalam Alaikum Alaikum Salam President Muhammad Buhari, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is for me a very special privilege to be here in this city of a proud history and exquisite culture to represent the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, to witness this historic coronation of Alaji Aminu Adubayoro as the 15th Emir of Canada. Your Royal Highness, I bring the President's warm felicitations and personal good wishes. Your Excellency, Governor Omar Ganduje, I congratulate you on this day of joy as you midwife a generational change of guards that few experience in their lifetimes or tenures. The swearing in and handing over of the staff of office to the new Emir of Canada in fulfillment of the extant laws and practice of the Emirate Council on the installation of Emirs in Canada. Your Royal Highness, I need not say to you that this city of Kano is no ordinary city. In both historical and modern times, Kano has always been refer revered as a major commercial and economic center in Africa and the melting pot of diverse tribes and cultures assimilated into a robust, vibrant and cohesive whole. It is only with the tolerance of the culture of Kano where opposite ideas can coexist peacefully that you could have a thriving free market economy with several millionaires and yet also be the base of the radical left of centre political ideas. This is after all the city of the socialist man of the masses, Malam Aminu Kano, and many of his disciples. And Kano is also the home of the capitalist richest man in Africa, Alaji Aliko Dangote. Wherever you are from, whoever you are, you must feel at home in Kano. Kano Tubengiwa. And here in Kano, and here in Kano, you cannot be better, you cannot be better than us from Kano. Kano Kodame. And if you think, and if you think you live in a city, and if you think you live in a city, then you haven't been to Kano. As incredibly humorous people of Kano will say, Garini Mba, Kano Ba, of brotherhood of all tribes and tongues. You inherit not only one of the most revered thrones in Africa, but on a more personal level, your great father was known for his wisdom, his courage, and his integrity. He loved his people and served them with honor and complete commitment. You have a goodly heritage, and you have a difficult act to follow. But we are confident that by the grace of God, you will exceed to the reputation of your illustrious forebears. So today, as you ascend the throne of your fathers, carrying with you the love and trust of your people, I can only offer you a prayer. I pray that this land will prosper in your reign, 
I pray that the Almighty God will be merciful to you and to the people of this land, that His hand will be your guide and direct you daily. Your family and tribe will increase, your days will be long, and as your days, so shall your strength, so shall your wisdom, and so shall your favor with God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.